As vaccination rates soared for most residents in nursing homes and assisted living, that's not the case for staff members who were also among the first to be offered vaccines. So News Channel Line's Madison Moore spoke with one company who says they are actively working to get those vaccination numbers up. Hesitancy, misinformation, and fear. Loretto says it's a combination for unvaccinated staff, but they're working to change that. So we always have clinicians on hand. They talk one on one on staff. We look at who isn't vaccinated yet and ask them what questions they have. According to the state vaccination tracker, most Loretto facilities are in the 50s to 70s range for staff fully vaccinated. But Sheedy says they're more concerned with the number of staff that have received at least one dose, putting them closer to herd immunity across the system. We track those numbers in real time. We then submit them to the state through a daily reporting process, and then they get uploaded within 24 to 48 hours. So you are looking at data that is at least a few days old when you get to those reports, but it, it is accurate. But Sheedy says they still hold vaccine clinics at different Loretto facilities from week to week and continue to see staff members decide to get the vaccine despite some hesitancy. We have been fortunate as we've continued to educate our staff, not just on the benefits of the vaccine, but also what it means to be vaccinated. We continue to see, see staff stepping up every week to get the shot. Sheedy says their other COVID-19 safety protocols are still strictly enforced. We screen all of our visitors, all of our employees daily. They can't walk past our screening kiosk without having their temperature taken and their symptoms checked. You know, we have all the right steps in place. Working to keep residents and staff educated and safe. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9.